Well, we're just following her. She's just come down the mound now. And funnily enough, there's actually some wild dogs that are not far from here. And I wonder if she hasn't seen those dogs and that's why she's running. The dogs apparently are just inside Arethusa heading in this general direction. And you can see, look, look at her, how she's battling to run in the walk. She see she's hobbling quite badly, unfortunately. She's just stopped. I think she's seen those dogs and she's now trying to get into a place where she can get out of the way of them at this stage. Right, so let's just see what's going to play out here because like I say, these dogs are not far away. So we, if the dogs do show up, we will extend a little bit. But there we go. You can see now she's moving off again. Shame my girl. you struggling with that foot. Oh, now she's lying down again. I'm just going to try and get forward a little bit. So she's just bounding off slightly. Where are you going, my girl? Shame. She's really struggling with this foot. It's, I think I'm actually going to leave her. I don't want to put any pressure on her anymore. I think with her watching what's going on and the way that she's walking it really is not something i really want to be with if the dogs arrive because her ability to maneuver herself is not going to be as easy and i don't want to attract too much attention to her at this stage shame she's just sitting behind you can see her watching there let's see if she's going to carry on now she's just stopped listening I saw lots of cars just off to our side here so I would imagine that's where the dogs were that's where I thought or heard that they were coming so I think she's come to investigate what's happening as well but it's not a good thing wild dogs when it comes to leopard are a problem you'll find wild dogs will chase leopards at the first sign they can get so she needs to rather stay clear of that as much as possible now she's just watching I don't know where those dogs must have gone to. They must have moved off. Now, I just want to see quickly here. I'm just looking. I've got a gap onto the road now, so I'm just having a little check to see if I can't see anything, but I don't see any sign of these dogs anywhere, so that's good news. Makes me a little bit happier that she's not got dogs anywhere too close to her. And so we'll actually stay a little bit longer now that the dogs are not here. They must have crossed further south of us, which is fantastic news. That's better. I would rather the dogs go further south. And as much as I would love to see the dogs on a, this particular occasion, I would rather they avoided us completely. And we'll try and see if we can't find them in the morning instead of them being with Shadow. Now, Donnie, you say you feel the same. I agree. I would always love seeing the puppies and they are an extra special animal to see and we're fortunate that we can spend time with wild dogs here and they're not a common sighting but in this situation just for shadow's sake I would rather she didn't come across those dogs where are you going to go from here my girl Okay, but she's not really moving now, so it's fine. And I can hear now the dogs have moved off more south of us, which is good news. So they've gone more towards Zoe's side and the fire break area than they have this way, which is fantastic. So we don't have to stress anymore, which is good news. I'm quite glad about that. I was a bit worried about her for a second. Shame, my girl. She's not walking nicely at all. I wonder what else she spotted here because she must have seen something that she moved off. Sorry, Seb, I'm just taking the light away just to shine quickly in case there is anything else. But she must have spotted something in this particular vicinity because she came sort of bounding this way even with her with her bad leg. Right, so I just want to go around quickly. Now, Jonathan, you were wondering if she can hunt with her bad leg. Well, Jonathan, I'm not 100% sure if she would be able to. I think she's around quite a bit. So 
I suppose she will be okay. It's going to be interesting to see, like I say, over the next little bit, how she goes. And you see, she looks like she wants to maybe groom there. So, Seb, I'm going to just turn this light for you, Seb, instead. Shame, Michael. I'll take that spotlight off. Now, we definitely will try and find those dogs in the morning. It's been an incredible afternoon with the Ellies and getting the aerial views and all the info that Tara has imparted on us in the tent. And, well, spending time with shadows never ever the worst way to spend an afternoon so i'm certainly very thrilled that we got managed to find shadow and we've managed to spend some quality time with her and i'll try and see if i can't find her again tomorrow morning or at least i'll actually think that tara should come out this way it'll be great for tara to see shadow and so hopefully she'll be somewhere close by and i don't think she's going to move around too much this evening but it's that time of the day unfortunately that we're going to say goodbye so from tara and senzo myself and sebastian we'll see you all on the sunrise safari